everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley and today we are going to be playing a little game called the First Time Challenge. I saw my friends Louise and Connor and Elfie do it and I was like, you know what? I want to do it. So, here we go. My first date, I think I was in seventh grade and one of my older brothers took me and my girlfriend at the time on a little date to go ice skating and it was super cute and we held hands and it was like adorable and uh, lo and behold, I'm gay. So, sorry Chelsea. Okay, so for my first kiss, I think I was 14 and I was on my way home from a secret rendezvous date. We went to the movies and I was so infatuated with him and it was just like magical. And then I ran inside and got on instant messenger and I messaged him and I was like, oh my God. And he was like, like, oh my god, and uh, I won't tell you any more details, but that was the gist of it. Hey, babe. hey mom, I have a question. What? what was my first word? I heard someone in your baby book. Ugh, you're just the worst. No, it's probably mama. It was probably mama? I'm sure. Okay. Mama, I love you. I love you. Later, girl. Bye. Well, great. Thanks, mom. So my first pet was named Snuffleupagus. He was a Shih Tzu and we called him Snuffy for short. And I remember I would always get yelled at because I would pet him really hard. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My first fear would probably be, I used to have this recurring uh, nightmare about E.T. making me drink my own pee. And I would have this dream over and over and I don't know what it means. If you know dreams, explain it to me because I don't know what it's all about. Teach me what my issues are because girl, that was an issue for me. So my first job was at Arby's and I absolutely hated it. I was, I think 14 and like as young as you could be in Michigan uh, to have a first job. And I was like being driven to my job from my parents and I thought it was the coolest thing. And in hindsight, I absolutely hated it. It was disgusting and I just didn't like it. And then my first car was actually from money that I saved up for my first job at Arby's. And it was actually this blue Oldsmobile with a red door. And I thought it was so cool and unique and this is a picture of it right here. I just thought it was the cutest little car. Uh, I ended up totaling it because I am a terrible driver. My first cell phone, you guys are all gonna laugh at me. This is before like flip phones. This was like the archaic brick phones like with Snake 2. And I still have my first phone. I feel like this is just like a, uh, a look back into the past and I needed to keep it because it was just like, this, if I ever need a, a weapon in a zombie apocalypse, it is like a freaking brick. Like you could kill somebody with this, let alone a zombie. My first girlfriend was in sixth grade and um, her name was Jules and we like barely even talked. We were on the other sides of the schools, but somehow we got set up or something. Fast forward of like, 10 years and we ran into each other at a gay bar and I was like, oh my God, Jules, how are you? I haven't seen you in forever. Let me introduce you to my boyfriend. And she was like, oh my God, Tyler, I haven't seen you in forever. Let me introduce you to my girlfriend. Plot twist, we are both flaming homosexuals. So circle of life or something. Okay, so my first YouTube video I ever made is actually privated now. It is 15 minutes long. It is called Intro to My Video Blog. I made it in September of 2007 and it is so embarrassing. Uh, if enough of you push the like button, I just might do a reaction video watching my first video because I haven't seen it in years. Um, so if you want that to happen, push the like button because I'll do it. For you guys, I'll do it. My first CD that I ever bought was Ace of Base and my first cassette tape was The Boy Is Mine by Brandy and Monica. Or actually, it might have been Mary Kate and Ashley, Brother for Sale. I don't know which one came first. I, th I know they were both in the same era of my toddlerhood, uh, which either way, I am a flaming homosexual. God bless. Okay, so my first tweet, I just looked it up. It was from March 25th, 2008 and it is rubbing my clitter on my Twitter. I don't know what this means, but it happened. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. And finally, one last first that I wanted to share with you guys because I have been sharing a lot of audible.com book recommendations. Uh, I figured I would include my first book that I ever cried at and that was The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I haven't seen the movie so I can't compare the two, but the book is like phenomenal. If you are a freshman in high school, it is like such one of those books that you have to read. So if you wanna experience that book, you can get it at audible.com slash Tyler Oakley. Uh, you get the first book free if you sign up through that link and uh, I recommend The Perks of Being a Wallflower. It's just one of those books that everybody has read and if you haven't, you're missing out on a worldly experience. Uh, it is just like a coming of age tale that is, you know, applicable for everyone. When you read it, you're like, this is so me. It is just one of those books. So if you wanna read that, you can get it at audible.com slash Tyler Oakley. You get your first book free. Audible has so many books that you can listen to and I figured I would share the first one I ever cried with with you guys. 
guys. But yes, that is all of the first times that I am gonna answer in this video. If you want me to do another first times video, like a part two of this, ask me some questions about other first time experiences in the comments below and maybe I will answer your question in a part two of this video. But yes, I think that's all I have for you guys this week. I will see you guys next week, but until then, have a good life. Later.